Want to create something that looks this awesome? Say no more, let's jump in and make your rocket levitate like it's got a personal beef with gravity. Here we are in Blender. In this scene, I've got a rocket engine, already animated to float upward like it just got accepted into space school. We've got a backdrop with a checkerboard material because, why not? Blender loves its checkers. And yes, we've got an animated camera too, because static shots are for furniture catalogs. Now let's talk smoke, the emitter is parented to the rocket engine, meaning it sticks with it like a loyal sidekick. Wherever the rocket goes, the emitter follows. Classic ride or die behavior. Time to add the domain, hit shift plus A and bring in a cube. Scale it to your scene's needs, no pressure. Once you're happy, apply the scale with Ctrl plus A a very important, unless you want Blender throwing a tantrum later. Now with the cube selected, head over to the Physics tab, add Fluid Physics, and set the type to Domain. Boom! This cube is now your smoke control center. Next, select your emitter and enable face orientation. If your normals are facing the wrong direction, like up instead of down, go into edit mode, hit shift plus N, and let Blender do its thing. If it still looks off, check that little inside box under recalculate normals. Boom. Fixed. Add fluid physics to the emitter, set the type to flow, and change the flow behavior to inflow. Disable face orientation now, it's done its job, and honestly, it's kind of annoying. Enable initial velocity and set the normal to something like 10. Yes, it'll look trash at first, like dollar store fog machine vibes, but stick with me. Select the backdrop, add fluid physics, change it to a vector, and make sure his planar is checked. This tells Blender it's a wall, not a weird smoke sponge. Now for the fun tweaks. Add a bit of vorticity, say 0.05, so your smoke doesn't look bored. Enable dissolve, and set the time to 25. These numbers aren't sacred. Tweak M until you like what you see. Turn on noise, set strength to 2, and scale to 1. Also, enable Adaptive Domain to make the sim faster. Like, actually faster. Not just Blender faster. Now drop in a Turbulence Force Field, Shift plus a Force Field Turbulence. Position it around the emitter. It's way too strong by default, so tone it down until the smoke starts looking, deliciously chaotic. <laughs> 
All right, almost there. Under the domain settings noise, set the uppers factor to 3 and resolution to 256. Scroll to the bottom, set the type to all, and tick is resumable, because trust me, one accidental power cut and it's game over without this. Then, drum roll, hit bake all. And now, go touch grass. Two weeks later. Let's make this smoke look good. Create a new material, delete the principled BSDF, sorry, bro, add a principled volume shader, and plug it into the volume input of the material output node. Set the density to 20 for a nice, thick look. Maybe lower the anisotropy a little so the light scatters better. Fancy. You're probably wondering, where's the thruster glow? Easy. Select the emitter, create a new material, and switch from principled BSDF to emission shader. Make it crazy bright, I mean like look away or go blind bright, and change the color to a cool blue. Keyframe the strength. Go into the graph editor, add a noise modifier, and mess with the scale and strength until it flickers like it's trying to start a fire. And boom, you've just made a rocket smoke simulation in Blender that doesn't suck.